Welcome back to the Makers Clean channel. My name is Melissa Maker and I am the resident cleaning expert over here. I've had a cleaning business in my hometown of Toronto since 2006. So yeah, I've cleaned a few things and I know how to waste time cleaning and I know how to save time cleaning and I know how to get really good results. So that's why in this video, I wanna talk about all of the different ways that you can use microfiber to clean and how much easier it makes cleaning. So let's get into it. To get that high polish shine on a mirror, I'm using my glass and electronics cloth folded in quarters. I've sprayed equal parts vinegar and water on the mirror, and I'm working section by section, top to bottom, using the S pattern. No streaks, no marks. For granite countertops, and any countertop actually, a microfiber cloth is your perfect cleaning companion. Spray on whatever cleaning product is appropriate for the surface and use the S pattern to get your counter nice and clean. To get that professional high polish shine on your sink, I'm using our fluffy utility cloth to get rid of all of that moisture and all of those streaks. To dry a copious amount of dishes after cooking or a meal, I'm using a waffle weave microfiber cloth. These are super absorbent, very large, and they dry quickly. This truly is the way that I have cleaned my bathroom floor for years. I take the microfiber cloths that I use to clean my counters and sinks, and by hand, I wipe the floors. I use two general purpose microfiber cloths to do this, and I catch the baseboards on the way as well. Of course, microfiber cloths are great for dusting, and you generally want to use them dry. That way you're not gluing any of the dust to a surface with a product. If you wanna wipe the surface with a product, you can dust first, wipe second. If you're doing a maintenance clean on your tub, so there's not a ton of soap scum, but you just wanna give it a nice wipe down, spray it with an all-purpose cleaner or a tub and tile cleaner, but instead of getting out your sponge, just wipe it with an all-purpose microfiber cloth. To clean glass, whether it's in your kitchen or anywhere else in your home, you can spray glass cleaner onto the surface and use a flat weave microfiber cloth from top to bottom just to get rid of any streaks or marks. To polish your faucets, you can spray it with an appropriate cleaner and use a microfiber cloth to quickly buff everything clean and dry. Anyone who's cleaned a car before knows how amazing microfiber is for this job. It really helps to remove all of the dust, dead skin cells, all those little things you see left behind. You can use a general purpose cloth for your dash and a flat weave for your windows. How do you get fingerprints off of stainless steel? You clean it with vinegar and a microfiber cloth. Nothing further, my friends. It's that easy. To get your glasses perfectly clean, spritz some glasses cleaner on there. Get yourself a flat weave microfiber cloth and clean each lens. A flat weave cloth means you won't see any scratches or marks left behind. To clean a TV screen, I don't recommend using any product. Rather, just take a flat weave microfiber cloth and wipe from top to bottom using the S pattern. If there's a difficult fingerprint, you can put a little bit of water on the cloth and work from there. I hope you now feel that much more confident when you approach cleaning and know exactly how to use your microfiber cloths to get you the very best results. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, are you a stainless steel fan or could you live without it? Are you like a matte black white person? Are you just a shiny piano black glossy white person for your appliances? Or are you hardcore stainless steel? Let me know in the comments down below. When we bought this house, it came with all white appliances. So we thought if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then they started to break and then we had to start fixing things and then it was COVID and things weren't totally available. So we had to get a white dishwasher. Bottom line, we're moving to stainless steel. We miss it and I kind of like the look, but I know it does require a little bit of extra maintenance for cleaning. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you wanna learn more about any of the beautiful, high quality microfiber cloths I was using in today's video, you can visit makersclean.com. I've got a link for you down below. There's also a link to sign up for our newsletter 
where we do product drops and also offer our very best discounts. So it really is the best place to get the best prices on our product. And of course you can subscribe to the Makers Clean channel by clicking a button in that local vicinity. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.